Rev. Catherine Blake is a marvelous chef and an interfaith minister. She has studied herbal medicine for over 30 years, as well as nutrition and nutritional biochemistry. Her interest in women's health and animal care is well supported by her knowledge of aromatherapy, homeopathy, Ayurveda, natural veterinary care, and Chinese medicine. On our previous episode, Rev. Catherine Blake showed us how to make a walnut salad dressing, a versatile nutritional yeast vegan cheesy melt sauce, and a banana sauce dessert recipe. Today, Rev. Catherine Blake will share with Supreme Master television viewers a few more recipes from her cookbook, Healthy Recipes for Friends, Simple, Soothing, and Pure, to make a nourishing and delicious complete meal. Aloha, friends. Welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. My name is Catherine Blake and I live on Maui, Hawaii. Today we'll be learning a few special dishes that will help you enhance your life. The first food we will learn is called the Super Salad Dressing. It's loaded with superfoods. There are many foods in this dressing that will make you stronger and healthier in the long run. It's delicious as well. We'll start off with sesame tahini. I always choose organic, and this sesame tahini is very high in calcium. Sesame seeds are one of the highest natural foods in calcium. We will be putting three quarters of a cup of sesame tahini into the blender. Next, we'll be adding nutritional yeast flakes. These are a wonderful source of B vitamins. They're yellow in color and they, are, uh, they have a flavor sort of like a light cheese. We'll be adding three tablespoons of nutritional yeast flakes to our sauce. These are called a superfood because they're so high in B vitamins. They're one of the naturally highest sources of B12. Next, we'll be adding organic soy sauce. This is a gentler form of salt than sea salt or regular salt, and it has a deeper flavor. It's a wonderful addition to flavoring your sauces. Apple cider vinegar is alkalinizing to the body. It's a superfood in its own right. If someone is fasting, they can use apple cider vinegar in water to cleanse their system and alkalinize their uh, digestive system. We have four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar for our dressing. I don't know if we can call maple syrup a superfood, but it sure is super delicious. It's got minerals from the uh, maple trees, and it's one of the reasons that I think the Vermonters are some of the longest lived people in the world. They have this and it fortifies them throughout their long cold winters. One tablespoon of maple syrup. Another superfood not to be missed is spirulina. Spirulina is grown in the ocean. In this single-celled protein you get a high concentration of balanced amino acids, a high concentration of chlorophyll, which enriches our blood and nourishes our overall system. And it's a very efficient way to get a lot of strong protein nutrition in your diet. I will be using one tablespoon of spirulina. A vegetable bouillon cube will really enhance the flavor. I have pre-melted this bouillon cube with water so it will blend more easily in the blender. Freshly ground black pepper is a superfood. It's high in vitamin C and it's uh, considered to have many nutrients that are essential for life. I would like to put one teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. We have sea salt, one 
about a half a teaspoon, a little more than a half a teaspoon of sea salt here. Garlic is a superfood. Garlic can lower high blood pressure and it can raise low blood pressure. It helps balance your blood pressure system. I'll put two cloves of garlic in this superfood dressing. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to add a little bit of Hungarian paprika. This is fun. It's not like cayenne pepper, which causes the, the bright, spicy tang of hot peppers, but it's milder. It will add a lovely color and flavor to our dressing. <laughs> now let's blend it up. I'll add some water. Because the tahini is sticking to the side, I'll stir it a little bit with the spatula. We'll go ahead and pour our super salad dressing into the measuring cup and it will be ready for us when we have the salad. Now we'll chop the salad greens to go with the super salad dressing. It came out marbled colored, which is kind of fun. We'll chop the celery and put it in the salad bowl. When I buy the mixed greens, sometimes the leaves are rather large. So I go ahead and chop them just a little bit. This one is a baby romaine lettuce and it's got purple leaves and green leaves, very high in nutritious. They come cleaned and washed. I enjoy switching around from one salad green to another. It feels like I'm eating all different foods with each different salad green. Kale gives me an entirely different feeling and flavor than collards. Adding fresh parsley or basil really makes the salad interesting. Okay, so we've made the salad and the salad dressing. We're off to a good start for a nice supper. Here we have bell peppers, orange bell pepper and a red bell pepper. I'll cut these and prepare the recipe that I call Best Friends. I created this recipe by chance one day. I took the bell peppers and I mixed them with cashews and I fried them together on low heat. Much to my surprise, they both sweetened each other and the cashews and the bell peppers symbionically made each other taste much better. So I call this recipe Best Friends. I like to remove the seeds from the bell peppers as I'm chopping them because they're a little bit hard and crunchy. They also have a bit of a bitter flavor. The secret to making this recipe successful is having the bell pepper pieces and the cashews the same size. The other secret is having roughly the same amount of bell peppers and cashews. So if they're the same amount of bell peppers and cashews and they're the same size, everything cooks quite well all alongside one another. These are whole cashews and I will chop them a little bit so that they're in halves or so.
It's about a cup of each in this case. We'll now turn on the heat, medium low, not too high, or the bell peppers and the cashews will burn. About medium heat. You don't need much oil at all for this recipe. I enjoy this recipe on top of quinoa or uh, vegetables or any grain. It adds a lot of color and the extra nutrition of the fresh, lively bell peppers, which are high in vitamin C, and the cashews, which are high in vitamin E. I can start to smell the aromas now. There's a soft smell of the peppers. The peppers will start to melt down and become a little bit more clear and the cashews will start to brown lightly. I hear the cashews starting to pop, which means we're getting close to being done. This dish is a favorite of mine. It's colorful and it's healthful. It's filling and nutritious. It satisfied much of the fat and protein needs that we desire as vegetarians. This dish starts off as a full pan and it shrinks down to just about half the size when it's done cooking. It smells heavenly. So we'll be using this on top of our quinoa dish. Quinoa is a wonderful grain. It's one of the highest usable proteins of any of the grains at about 16%. This one is high in assimilable, very usable amino acids. Quinoa is also one of the most alkaline of the grains. It's actually a seed and when you uh, cook it, it swells up to about twice its size and it makes a little curly cue. It would be good to use this instead of, for example, couscous, which is a wheat dish, uh, a noodle dish. I would suggest that we put the best friends topping on the quinoa. I also love the quinoa with just a dab of toasted sesame oil and maybe some soy sauce. Now let's move along to a bit of a dessert. Here I have sliced apples and I have strawberries. Beautiful homegrown strawberries. What we do often is we take organic powder of chocolate and we mix it with an equal part of organic cocoa powder and organic sugar. So I'll do this right now. I'm going to make a topping for the strawberries. So one heaping tablespoon, a second heaping tablespoon of cocoa powder. I'll now add two heaping tablespoons of organic sugar. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to this. I'll stir it with a fork. Now we have a thick dipping chocolate sauce, very pure. You can control exactly how much you're getting of any of the items, any of the ingredients. And you can use this for dipping your homegrown strawberries and apples. I also like to add a touch of vanilla. What you want to find is a high quality vanilla with a deep flavor. I have one that I particularly enjoy and it's Orlando vanilla. So, let's get ready, prepare a plate, and share our meal. We're going to have the quinoa with the best friend's topping. A little extra. We'll have the salad. With the superfoods salad dressing topping. Look at that green color, so high in magnesium. This is Steve Blake, Dr. Steve Blake, my husband. We've been together 20 years, so he kind of knows what to expect with my cooking. We'll see if it works today. Mmm. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> The flavors of the bell peppers really come through.
Mm. Wow, that's a salad dressing. A lot of flavor, very rich and creamy, and you can feel how nourishing it is. Well, it's a superfood salad dressing, so hopefully it'll keep you charged up and supercharged for days to come. Would you like to try the dessert, Steve? I think I would. Okay, we have here a vanilla toned, very basic chocolate dip for your strawberries. Let me try this out. Look at that, doesn't that look good? You get a lot of chocolate on there. Mmm. <laughs> That's so good. I could try that again. <laughs> Why don't you try one? I think I will. I think I'd like to. Oh yeah, I'll get a lot of chocolate too. <laughs> oh yeah. That'll work. We can also use apples for dipping or whatever fruit you have, raspberries, blueberries. Thank you, Steve, for sharing the, the meal. Thank you. Aloha. Mahalo for being with us today at Vegetarianism, The Noble Way of Living. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciple. Thank you. To learn more about Rev. Catherine Blake and Dr. Steve Blake and their work with holistic health, please visit www.naturalhealthwizards.com. details please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash veg